Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home and Vinegar Syndrome has blown me away with their latest 4K release and we've got to talk about it. Hey everyone, so thanks for calling back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Amityville Horror. This is the original, not a remake, not a sequel, not the Ryan Reynolds one. The OG Amityville Horror with James Brolin, Margaret Kidder, and Rod Steger. One of the greatest horror movies ever made, in my opinion, with a new 4K here from Vinegar Syndrome. I'm going to dive into the video quality and talk about the transfer and the remastered video. We're going to talk about the audio, also talk packaging and special features, and give you guys a recommendation on whether or not this one's worth picking up for your collection. So the Amityville Horror is presented here for the first time in 4K with a brand new scan, color graded in HDR from the original 35 millimeter camera negative. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that those are the magic words. Original camera negative, 35 millimeter, new restoration, usually a very good sign, and this is no exception. The previous Blu-ray from MGM it was a bit faded, it was a bit washed out, it was almost like colorless in some instances. In this movie on 4K, Vinegar Syndrome has blown me away because the entire movie is just revitalized. It's given new life. The HDR color looks amazing. It really pops off your screen and this new scan is so finely detailed. This is one of my favorite 4K discs now. Um, I can't imagine seeing this look much better. It looks like a pristine 35 millimeter print. I mean, that's what we want from these movies. It's got great grain, but very consistent grain, which brings out the detail in a lot of the shots. It doesn't have any noise reduction. It doesn't have any funny business with the transfer. It's just pure 1970s film greatness put on a 4K disc. And I, I just... I imagine this is what it looked like in theaters on day one. Like it's that good, but maybe even better because of the color grading that was done here to bring it to HDR just takes this image to a new level without distracting from the original source. I think you'll notice a lot of instances, especially talk, I talk about skin tones and kind of flesh tones a lot. Those tend to get washed out sometimes on Blu-ray. Bang, here, looking great. All your primaries, your reds, your blues, your greens, pop off your screen and then those darker moments which Amityville Horror has plenty of are going to be nice and crisp black gray white whatever it is there isn't a whole lot of like black crush in fact I wouldn't say there's any I wouldn't say there's any issues with gray uniformity and making sure that you know the gray scale is consistent this thing is from black to white across the entire gray scale just beautiful so those nighttime sequences even with a little bit of the blue hue mixed in look amazing and the rest of the movie just simply pops off your screen i mean vinegar syndrome i know they've done good stuff in the past um i've always highly regarded them but this is up there with some of what like blue underground's done it is just fantastic five out of five video. So the other great thing about this release is that you have multiple audio options. You have both the original theatrical surround audio completely unaltered and unedited, and you also have an alternate stereo mix, as well as a third mix that has a commentary with a, a doctor of psychology. Giving you those multiple options is nice. I think there'll be a divide here on what people like. Maybe people are more used to stereo mixes on movies of this age, although a lot of stuff has now been remastered for surround. Personally, I'm going with the original theatrical sound every time that's the way they want it presented to people in theaters to me that's the way that people remember it that's the way it should be shown and so i stuck with the surround track i thought it was excellent it really is nice cleaned up it has decent surround sound you know effects for a movie of this era and dialogue was super clear the music sounded great i mean it's again i keep saying this but like if you were in the theaters on opening night for amityville horror I don't know if it even looked as good as this. They've just done an amazing job with the technology we have nowadays. Now the packaging is also great and I know there are always some options with vinegar syndrome but I went with the slip cover uh, here. It's a pretty nice hard slip cover. I like the front artwork. I like all the characters names on the front. I like the house but then the back is really cool too with the upside down cross and then I don't know if you guys can see this but it says get out very lightly on the back and as you sort of go back and forth you can see that um, just a really really nice case and then on the inside you do continue that same artwork and then you pop it open and you get both a blu-ray 
and a 4K disc with their own individual artwork. The Blu-ray is also remastered, so that's gonna be a new version of the Blu-ray as well if you haven't upgraded to 4K yet. Now, for those features on the 4K disc, it's pretty light, right? A lot of the disc space is put towards the picture and the audio, but it does have that commentary track. This is Dr. Hans Holzer, PhD in parapsychology and author of Murder in Amityville. Very interesting if you really want to dive into this case and the true story behind it. But that's it for 4K. The Blu-ray packs the special features. So on the Blu-ray, you've got a brand new documentary, making of documentary called My Amityville Diaries. You've got an archival making of documentary. This is an older one with James Brolin. You've got an interview with Brolin from 2017. You've got interviews with the uh, children, uh, who are the actresses and actors in this movie. You've got an interview with the screenwriter. You've got an interview with the composer. You've got an interview uh, from 2017. 2013 with the composer and then you've got a video introduction from dr hans holzer original trailer reversible inside cover artwork and english subtitles so just you know really cool stuff two documentaries multiple interviews with the actors and cast it's impressive stuff they've kind of gathered all the archival footage they could and even included some new stuff as well so overall this is a great release just stunning picture quality one of my favorite discs of the year great timing for the halloween season and i have texas chainsaw massacre 2 coming from vinegar syndrome very soon can't wait to see what that looks like now given what this did look like on 4k so i am highly recommending the amityville horror on 4k uhd it's going to be a little pricey vinegar syndrome runs about 35 bucks but honestly i paid it because i love the horror movie genre i know other horror movie fans will pay that you could always wait for a sale but you never know with vinegar syndrome stuff if it goes out of print so i tend to just grab stuff as it comes out their titles are usually 30 to 35 dollars anyway and i support a great independent label like vinegar syndrome who did amazing work on this restoration so i would highly highly recommend it whether you buy it from them or you use the amazon link down in my description it's well worth a pickup if you're a fan of the movie and of the horror genre this will be one of the nicest 4k discs and one of the best looking movies on 4k from the 70s that i think you can buy so thanks for watching this review. Make sure you subscribe for more 4K and Blu-ray content, physical media content, and movie reviews like this. Also, make sure to follow me on social media. All the links are in the description, and I am literally everywhere now from Facebook to LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, every platform. Come find me, and also make sure you like this video so others will see it, and let me know in the comments if you guys picked this one up and what you thought about it, because I was super impressed, especially compared to what I think was a pretty poor Blu-ray release from the early days of the format. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and stay healthy out there. Keep enjoying the spooky season with amazing discs like this and many others, and I will talk to you all soon.